In this video I will show how to compute the probability of a binomial random variable to be in a specific interval. Um, the most important formula for one to remember when working with binomial random variables is the following. The probability of x being equal to a given number k is equal to n choose k p the probability of success to the power k times q the probability of failure to the power n minus k. Another thing that is important to remember is that the binomial random variable is always also a discrete random variable. Therefore, it has what's called the probability distribution table, uh, which is the table which, along with uh, uh, possible value, lists the probability of a variable obtaining um, that value. Uh, so the probability distribution table for this random variable will look something like this. Uh, k represents a possible value. In this case, uh, it could be any number between 0 and 13 because there are 13 trials altogether. And the number of successes can be any number between 0 and 13. Um, we can use uh, this formula to compute each of these uh, probabilities one by one. So we can find the probability of x equals 0, x equals 1, x equals 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and so on. However, before we start working on that, let's take a look at the question. Uh, the question is simply asking to find the probability of x being less than 12. So initially, we can interpret this question as finding the probability of x being equal to 0 plus the probability of x being equal to 1, and so on, until we get to number 12. Uh, however, we can also apply one of the probability rules, which says that uh, the probability of an event is equal to 1 minus the probability of uh, its complement. In this case, um, what's, what's the complement of x being less than or equal to 12? Well, there's only one value that is that doesn't satisfy this condition, and that value is 13. So probability of x being equal less than or equal to 12 is equal to 1 minus the probability of x being equal to 13. So using the formula, this um, probability rule allows us to save a lot of time, and instead of, instead of finding all of these probabilities, we can just focus on finding this probability and then subtracting it from 1. So probability of x being equal to 13 is equal to uh, 13 choose 13 times 0.9 to the power 13 times 0.1 to the power 0. Uh, Computing this is just a matter of plugging in these values in a calculator. So I'm going to save some time and just write the answer. Uh, the probability of x being equal 13 is equal to 0.25418653. And therefore, to answer the question, we just have to subtract that number from 1. And the answer is 0 0.74581314417, which can be rounded and written in percent form as 74.58 percent.